Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be talking about solving systems of equations and this particular method we're going to be using is graphing. So when you're graphing a system of equations what you want to do is to set each equation here in terms of y equals mx plus b. So this is the goal here, y equals mx plus b because this is how we graph a line. So we'll start with this top equation here and I'll try to get the y by itself. So I'll start by moving this 3x over here with the negative 5. So that's going to give me negative y equals negative 3x minus 5. Now, notice right here, we want y by itself. Here we have a negative y. So what we're going to do is divide everything by negative 1. And now what we have is y equals positive 3x plus 5. Now what we'll do is we'll take our second equation and set it in terms of y equals. So we'll start by taking this 4x and bringing it over here with the negative 2. So we have y equals negative 4x minus 2. Here we have a positive y which is exactly what we wanted. Now what we'll do is we will graph each of these equations. So here, this is 3x plus 5. So I'll go on my graph here, I'll go up to positive 5, and I'll put a dot. So that was my y-intercept. Now from 5, what I'll do is follow the pattern of my slope. All slopes are technically fractions, because we know slope is rise over run. So I need to rise 3 and run once. Since both of these are positive, I'll go up 3 and then to the right 1. So from 5, I'll go up to 3, so that's 8, and then to the right 1 and put my dot. Now I can draw my line. For my next graph, I'll put my y-intercept at negative 2. So I'll start at 0 and go down to negative 2 and put my first dot. And this slope is negative 4. So remember that all slopes are technically fractions. This is negative 4 over 1. So from negative 2, I'll need to go down 4. So I can go down 1, 2, 3, 4 to negative 6, and then go to the right 1. There are my two dots, so now I can draw my line. Now, the solution to your system of equation is always going to be where the two lines cross, which is going to be here at negative 1, positive 3. That's this coordinate value. All right, so here our solution is going to be negative 1, 3. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.